What? What is not allowed? Ricard Tillingist. No tinned meat is allowed, no tomato paste, no clothing, no shoes, no notebooks. These will be stored in our warehouses at Kerem Shalom until further notice. Bananas, apples, and persimmons are allowed into Gaza, peaches and dates, and now macaroni, after the American Senate House visit. These are vital for daily sustenance. But no apricots, no plums, no grapes, no avocados, no jam. These are luxuries, and are not allowed. Paper for textbooks is not allowed. The terrorists could use it to print seditious material. And why do you need textbooks now that your schools are rubble? No steel is allowed, no building supplies, no plastic pipe. These the terrorists could use to launch rockets against us. Pumpkins and carrots you may have, but no delicacies, no cherries, no pomegranates, no watermelon, no onions, no chocolate. We have a list of three dozen items that are allowed, but we are not obliged to disclose its contents. This is the decision arrived at by Colonel Levi, Colonel Rosenzweig, and Colonel Siegel. Our motto, no prosperity, no development, no humanitarian crisis. You may fish in the Mediterranean, but only as far as three kilometers from shore. Beyond that and we open fire. It is a great pity the waters are polluted. Twenty million gallons of raw sewage dumped into the sea every day is the figure given. Our rockets struck the sewage treatment plants, and at this point spare parts to repair them are not allowed. As long as Hamas threatens us, no cement is allowed, no glass, no medical equipment. We are watching you from our pilotless drones as you cook your sparse meals over open fires and bed down in the ruins of houses destroyed by tank shells. And if your children can't sleep, missing the ones who were killed in our incursion, or cry out in the night, or wet their beds in your makeshift refugee tents, or scream, feeling pain in their amputated limbs that's the price you pay for harboring terrorists. God gave us this land. A land without a people for a people without a land.